Hey guys, today I'm telling the story about how I almost went on reality TV. I wrote a bunch of notes on my iPad just to stay organized, but yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. It started when I was living in Los Angeles, living in LA, and this was in 2021. And I had just watched the season of this show, which I'm not gonna say the name because I really don't think I'm allowed to, but <laughs> it's everybody's favorite dating show. It was my favorite dating show. I don't really watch it anymore. The show involves handing out roses. So basically at the end of 2020, I had just gotten out of a relationship and I was just really heartbroken about it. And I was really discouraged by the LA dating scene. It just really was bad at the time. And I was just like, you know what? I was like, the LA dating scene sucks. And I was watching an episode of this reality show. And at the end, they always have this advertisement that's like, hey, if you or anybody you know is looking for love, you know, go on this show. And a lot of people always say, oh, you know, my friends nominated me. No, I saw that and I was like, okay, I'll go to the website and they have their little casting link. And the application was so simple. It was just sending in a picture of yourself and answering like, I kid you not, I think it was three or four questions. It was like your name, your social media handles. And I think it was like really that simple. And I was like, super easy. I sent it in. I didn't think anything about it. This was in like June of 2021. And then fast forward to, it was like July 4th weekend. And I was at some like 4th of July party and I get an email from the name of the show, Casting. And I'm like, there's no way. I forgot I even sent in my application. I just wasn't thinking about it. Then I got this email that was like, hey, we saw your application. We think that you'd be a great fit for this show. We just want you to send in a video so we can learn a little bit more about you. And video editing is just my thing. Like I edit all my YouTube videos on this channel. So I was like, simple i will do that in one day i was just so excited i'm like is this real like they really got back to me this is like i just i know they get like thousands of applications or in my mind i think they get a lot and so i'm just like all right well let's go for it and so i edited i put together a video in which i'm gonna show at the end i'm gonna show the full thing and i just basically put together a little video that was like welcome to my crib i was in my apartment in LA and yeah I just was talking about my life what I do I was just myself I was just having fun with it and I made that video right away I sent it to them like the next day I was like on top of it yeah you'll see my video at the end I think it was a great video I think I did what needed to be done and I executed it and so um yeah and apparently so did they because like a week later they got back to me saying that they wanted to meet up with me in person but before they met with me they needed a whole bunch of stuff for me they needed me to answer this questionnaire that was like 200 questions about myself i'm like oh my gosh this is so much i just started filling out the application and they also asked for like 10 pictures of me and so I don't take a lot of like professional like headshot type of pictures, but I just was on my Instagram screenshotting my best pictures. And so then it was time to go meet with them in person. I got the email and they basically just told me where their studio was located. And keep in mind, I'm in LA, which is how I think this all even was so seamless at the time. They were just like, oh yeah, just come up to this studio in LA. It was like 15 minutes from my apartment. So before that, I went shopping. They, were, they told me to wear like bold, bright colors. They were like, wear a bold, bright color, something fitted. And I was like, okay, great. And so I went to the mall. I went to like Zara. I ended up getting something from Guess and I loved this dress. And as soon as I tried it on, I was just like, yeah, this, this pops, this like, it's just like a really cute dress. I think they're gonna like it. I loved it and I felt really confident in it. And so I got dressed and ready. You know, I did my makeup. I woke up at like, I woke up super early in the morning so I could spend like hours perfecting my makeup. And I've watched the show before for previous seasons, like three or four different seasons. I knew what they were looking for. I know they usually only cast girls that have like 
long hair with extensions. Wanted to present myself the best for this exact opportunity. And like I said before, I was like not in the best place when it came to like looking for a relationship. Like I was like frustrated. I was tired of the dating scene. I don't think I was going into it with like, like optimistic. Yeah, so I just don't even think I was like in a good place to even be auditioning for that. But anyway, I, I got myself together for the, the meeting. And so I got there and when I got to the studio, they led me through the office and I saw like the branding for the show. So I'm like, okay, this is legit. These are the people I've been emailing back and forth with. And they led me to this like parking garage, this empty parking garage. And I was like, what is this? Like what in the heck? Like, I don't even know what it what, but it was like eight of the casting producers. And they all like kind of like formed this circle around me and before I knew it, I was like surrounded by them and they were just like asking me a bunch of questions, like rapid fire and not really like drilling me, but like saying like, oh, so what are you looking for? How long have you been single? Like, what's your dating history like? You know, what are you just asking a bunch of questions? But throughout this whole process, I was just very honest. And even in my video, I was just being super honest, being myself. So I didn't have to worry about being like tripped up by any trick questions or anything like that. They were just asking me how much I watched the show and if I was currently watching and who like my favorite people were, who I'd want to see as a lead. I mean, it was just like, like, they asked like, when was my breakup? Why did we break up? Like a lot of those type of questions. And I don't even know how to describe it. It wasn't hazing, but it was just like, where I knew they were like trying to intimidate me, but because, because I was just having fun, because I had no expectations, I just think it came off that I was just enjoying the process and I wasn't really like, you know, I, I wasn't really intimidated by all that was going on. I was just going with it, but it was it was a fun time. And uh, we just, we laughed a lot. And I could just tell by like the interactions that we were having that I was probably gonna go to the next round. I was just like, we had fun. I looked my best. I was having a good time. If you ever wanna do the show, just all you have to do is look at the aesthetic of the show. What are they looking for? You understand what they want? I just showed up like with that, with the look that they wanted, but you know, I just was true to myself and being myself. At that point, this was like a few days before my birthday. And like I said, I lived in LA, but I wanted to go home just to be with my family, to spend time with them on my birthday. And when I got there, I kind of was telling them about the process that I was going through. Once I got home, um, I, they, they told me I had progressed to the next round, which included a lot of the logistics. They sent me a questionnaire that had 500 questions this time. Remember, the first one had 200 questions. This one had 500. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot. But when I was at home, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna answer 100 to 200 questions a day. And I'm just going to really just not overthink it. And while I was home, I talked to my family a lot, you know, my brother, my sisters, grandmothers, parents, and they were just like, are you sure this is something you wanna do? Like, they were just so not for it. They were like, this is a terrible idea. You have to think about, you know, just the image that it puts out and if that really is aligned with you. And, um, and I know what they were probably worried about is, you know, if you watch the show with, or like any dating shows that are similar to this, where it's like a lot of people, 30 or so going for one person, there, there's those times where it's like, everybody's like kissing the same person or like, you know, and it's all on camera. And they were just looking out for me. And I understood that, but being at home, something about just coming home at that time made me realize that I hadn't really checked in with myself and I hadn't prayed about it to God. My relationship with God is so important to me and I hadn't even like prayed or checked in or asked the Holy Spirit, is this something you want me to do? And yeah, I hadn't prayed about it. This was just all me going in with the mindset like, oh, you know, I wanna try something different for my dating life. I wanna try to take this into my hands. You know, what I'm doing isn't working. 
I did not bring God into this process at all. I just, it was all me. And when I came home, I was like, wow, I didn't really think deeply about this. I just was kind of having fun. And so that's when I decided to start journaling about it and just journaling about how my feelings were and if I really want to go through with it. But um, yeah, that's just what happened when I was at home. I filled out all 500 questions. And then when I came back, that's when stuff really started to get real. Not only talk to my family more about it, but I also had my church community in LA that I talked about in one of my last videos about how God gave me a job. The same people who were praying for me during my job search, they actually prayed for me during the, I will set the name of the show. <laughs> they almost prayed for me during the casting process for the show. And I told them my feelings about it. I was like, hey, I haven't talked to God about this. I haven't asked if it's what he wants me to do. And we started praying together about it. And keep in mind, this is at a time, I don't think I mentioned this, where I was kind of in between jobs too. I was freelancing, doing video production work, but I didn't have something full time. Um, and so that actually made me a better candidate for the show, honestly, but... When I got back to LA, I started feeling this just like uneasiness about it. It just something felt like a little bit like, I felt like nervous and anxious about it all of a sudden and just kind of um, not at ease about it. At the beginning, it was fun. I was just having fun. But as I started being more intentional, thinking about long term and everything, I was just like, I don't really know. Like. I don't feel like it's a definite no, but I don't feel like it's a definite yes either. And so, um, yeah, just I started praying about it, started journaling about it, but things got real once I did that 500 question questionnaire. There was just so much more stuff that started to come from the casting side. I had to do a psych evaluation, basically evaluating like my mental state and they had to, I had to do blood work, to do blood tests, to make sure I was healthy. I had to go do like a physical exam and just stuff like that. And then like a investigative background check where one was for like, you know, criminal history. And then one was for like my social media. And so they got back to me. They said, yeah, everything's good with your social media. Everything's good with your background. Yeah. And then my prayer to God the whole time was just like, hey, God, like, Hey God, my prayer was just like, Lord Jesus, if this is not for me, I just pray that something would come up, that they wouldn't choose me, that they would, you know, pick somebody else, what have you. I was just like, if this isn't for me, just, just don't, don't let this progress anymore. I genuinely believed in my heart, like God would stop it if it wasn't for me. And so um, I prayed that prayer. And then after doing all these like, you know, evaluations and different things for the casting process, they let me know that I had progressed to the finals weekend where I think it was either, it's either their top 50 or top 100. And so, whereas at other points of this process, I was like super excited and just like happy. This, my heart kind of dropped when I had made it. And I was like, hmm. Like, I never thought it was going to get this far. I <laughs> I started just to have fun, but it's like, it was one of those things. I just, I never saw it progressing to like finals weekend. I was like, oh shoot, like now I really have to think about it. And um, I just felt nervous about it at this point. And I was talking to the girls from my church and who prayed with me and they were like, hey, you know, God will stop it if it's not for you, something will pop up and you will just kind of like know in your heart. And I really trusted that. I was still on the fence, you know? I was like, I wanna be prepared for whatever. And so they were letting me know, kind of like get your dresses together, have at least eight to 10 like formal dresses that you can wear. And they were telling me the type of outfits to get ready. And so I kind of started gathering my dresses. I ordered my, dress that was gonna be for night one, you know, when you first like make your entrance. So I was still going through the motions at this point, but I was like very just nervous and uneasy about it. Like I said, I found out I made it to finals weekend. And so 
during the finals weekend were still virtual, keep in mind, because you know, this is 2021. I went and I picked out this really cute outfit, went back to guests again, so cute. I took a little screenshot of myself when I was on like the Zoom call and I was just myself. I was very honest, very intense this time because this is like director, casting producer, like this is, this is really the final stages. This is your final, you know, interview. And um, even though I was nervous, it kind of went by fast. And yeah, I was just like, I cannot believe this is happening. Hopefully I can do this in less than 10 minutes because I have a lot to say. Hey you guys, my name is Elise and I'm a video editor based in Los Angeles. So basically what led to me becoming a video editor is I left my job as a TV news reporter. Find me, the front of town hall still reads Leesburg, but for the next few days, it will be called Natsburg. And that was always the dream job, the traditional path that I have wanted to follow since I was little. And I achieved it and then it just felt so traditional and stuffy and I didn't get a chance to be creative and I just felt like I was trying to be somebody else and just live somebody else's dream. It looked great on the lights, camera, action and all that but inside I felt so unfulfilled so I decided to start my own video production company. Now I tell stories through video on my own terms with my production company. I live here in Los Angeles with my younger sister. Hey guys! <laughs> Wait, start over. Oh, hey! Welcome to uh, my place. Come in. Let me show you around. Come on. This is the beautiful apartment. Here is the dining room with our kitchen table set. Here is the kitchen where all the magic happens, where we make a lot of pizzas and pasta and a lot of other good stuff. And then here's the living room where we sit and we watch movies and we just really just spend a lot of time here. This is my favorite spot in the house. And then outside, this is where we sit and just enjoy the beautiful view of California as you can see from our window. So that's our apartment. This is our, this is our crib. I want to tell you a little bit about my family. I'll start off with my parents. They're both doctors. My dad is an eye doctor and he was named recently one of the top 100 doctors in Detroit, Michigan, where I'm from. Well, I'm actually from Bloomfield Hills, but the closest big city is Detroit. My mom's also a doctor. She's an OBGYN and delivers babies. They've always had very high expectations of us of the four of us I have four I have three siblings so there's four of us total and you know my parents achieved a lot they work so so hard my dad's a surgeon and um, basically what who followed in his footsteps was my older sister Simone she's an eye doctor too and so she's literally doing eye surgery every week and sending us pictures is so gross but so proud of her. Then there's my younger sister who I mentioned that I live with. She's an actor, but she's also a musician. So she's a classically trained pianist. And so she plays the piano and she's really good. And then last but not least is my brother. So my brother is so awesome. He co-founded the first ever D1 golf team, division one golf team at Howard University with his good friend, Steph Curry. So yeah, my brother's pretty much the coolest one <laughs> out of all of us because he's friends with Steph Curry and they started a golf team together and they met when Steph Curry came to Howard University and yeah they my brother introduced himself to Steph Curry asked him to start a golf team with him and next thing you know there's a seven figure deal signed for the first Howard University golf team so yeah my brother is incredible he's like He's awesome, like who does that? He's friends with Steph Curry now, like that's unreal. My whole family is really big on pursuing what they really wanna do. For fun, I love golfing, like that's my favorite sport. I freaking love it. I love golf, I love tennis, but golf is really special and important to my whole family, but um, yeah, that's definitely my favorite sport. I love to volunteer. So I recently helped to start a school in Kenya. So I raised money to, I like, I, I raised the money, I did a big fundraising campaign with my friends, family, to 
build a school in Africa and it actually worked. It was something that I just didn't know I was gonna be able to do, but we made it happen. And even better, I got to go to Kenya to visit the school and literally, I just burst into tears. I have a video of it that I'm gonna show, but I was sobbing like a baby because I was told they weren't gonna be there. I was told the students weren't gonna be. It was their off, kind of like their, they, they had some time off school, but all the parents and all the kids came back to like greet me. Oh, and it's just like, it just filled my heart so much. I'm working on a second fundraiser to build another school in Africa along with a well to bring clean water. So that's something I work on too. Just the fundraiser, just getting donors and getting different sponsors to help out to build the school and to help that community in Kenya. And so yeah, that's, that's what lights me up on the inside. Making a difference in people's lives. The fact that this school is gonna be up for 20 plus years and educate hundreds of students in Africa for like years to come, that's mind blowing that I was able to start something like that and just that people were able to help me make it happen. I've been waiting probably since I was like, I, I've been waiting since I was like very young to just find my person. I was in a serious relationship. Actually in 2020, I was in a ser my first serious relationship. This was my first serious relationship ever in my life. We're at 26 years old. I've always just wanted to date with intention and with just date with the for the purpose of marriage. And um, basically he broke my heart. Um, like that was probably my worst heartbreak ever. It didn't work out, it was really hard for me. But the worst part was he broke up with me a week before Christmas. Oh, and yeah, he broke up and so yeah, I was basically here in LA by myself in my apartment, just quarantined here with no man, <laughs> no family around, totally alone. I made a promise to myself that I would unapologetically pursue love and find my person. And so all of that has led me to this moment. Like this is such a leap of faith for me. This is like unapologetic, I'm unashamed and I'm looking for love and I'm hoping that I find it on the Thank you for taking the time to just get to know me, hear a little bit about my life and my story and my family. And I hope that I'll see you guys very, very soon.